I wanted to talk about last episode just real quick. I wanted to rant a little bit, bruh. If you didn't see the last episode, if you didn't see episode four, go watch it. Uh, but I, I just want to talk. I just want to rant a little bit. Can I rant, please, before we start the video, bruh? All right, so episode four. Episode four. Uh, as we all know, there is the situation with Arvo. He's trying to stash meds. We confront him and we have the option to steal the meds from him or not steal the meds. I chose not to steal the meds. And at the end of the story, Arvo still lies about us stealing from them, which ultimately leads to a group of Russian Russian mobsters open firing on us and I just wanted to rant a little bit um <laughs> because in my head I was thinking why why is it that we made the decision why is it that we had the decision to steal or not steal just for him to to go ahead and say we stole anyways leading us to that end leading us to that 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 ending right um so i went to a forum now mind you i i understand that this game is 10 plus years old i understand that okay this is my first time playing it's my first time you know playing season two it's my first time you know experiencing all of this for myself i was a little upset you know at, at how shit ended and honestly honestly I was thinking that I f***ed up, right? I was a little upset, I'll be honest. I thought it was a glitch, but I I, I don't want to spoil it, so I'm going to talk about it. If, it. if it doesn't get brought up in this episode, I'm sure it should, but I'm going to talk about it if it doesn't get brought up at the end of this video uh, on why Arvo did what he did. And I know a lot of y'all already know. A lot of y'all have already watched this or played this. Um, but for those of you who don't know and are, are just like me experiencing this game for the first time, uh, I will gladly talk about what I found out if it's not talked about in this episode. Um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to I just wanted to rant a little bit before the video starts, man. But uh. But yeah, thank y'all for for watching this series, bro. I've been really enjoying it. As 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 bad as it's been on my my mental health, because I really do get into it, into like real into these these storylines and the whole Sarah situation kind of pissed me off because I, I I really tried. I don't know if she actually could survive this. I really tried to keep her alive just for her to. To end up dying. I know it's spoilers. If you haven't seen episode four, it's your fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's 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 funny though because I'm rewatching The Walking Dead right now. I'm on season four, and I'm I'm just remembering how like if y'all if y'all like Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead is my Game of Thrones. If you if you get what I mean. You get attached to characters and then you lose them in the next episode and it's like but, but they do like replace dead characters with like multiple new ones and then you like it's it's kind of like give and take but like also like not you know in a way but uh yeah rant over man thank y'all for watching the series this is episode five let's get to it man <sighs> previously on the walking dead Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. To put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Drink it up! 
Keep shooting. I'll do it. The ceiling. Drop it. Yeah, Drop it. Don't move. 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 Don't I wasn't I wasn't choosing anything other than the baby. I didn't even see him out there. Good work, Clem. How dare y'all give me that choice? Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us till he runs out of ammo. We gotta do something. So quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go! English, motherfucker! I can kill every one of you! Nico! It's your cousin! Just sorry, I just... The wall. That's all I've been thinking about. <laughs> I'm right? sorry. Just shoot over towards the woods. Yeah, okay. Good, good. I just need the distraction. Okay? Alright, I'm not going. Go! Black, black. Oh, shit. One hey, shot? What are you? Ah! Oh, no! Ah, what? Don't give me one Please. shot. Be fair with that, you know. Luke, are you okay? Oh, he got me in the leg, but I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. Ah, we'll be fine. Why don't give me one we'll shot? Be fine. to come out Here, except I for that him. other dude get arvo bro fuck that dude 
I, Jesus I, Christ. Hold on. That was, uh... Sorry. That was intense. I yeah. thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I, I didn't blue. know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but it felt wrong. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you can still leave. Come on. <laughs> no. Okay. Whew. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to I'm so glad y'all didn't blame me this, this time, bro. Fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just... Too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. You piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys! Get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is! Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. It's still for Carl. Food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. I, oh, don't be stupid. I don't trust him, though. To save his skin. Why the hell Cause what if there's more people us? there? I, I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, Damn. back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. Fuck, and I don't want to be there. I don't want to. We'll all be dead. Exactly. That's what I it's feel. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Not true. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Don't blame her why, for what these people Why don't did. you give me the option to say we didn't do shit, Think though? Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. All right. I gotta get this out, too. I gotta get this out, bruh. Okay. This was my biggest issue. Like, we... I chose not to steal. So why don't I get the option to say we didn't do anything? Like, we should be able to clear our name right here. We had multiple times to clear our name. I don't understand why... I don't understand why they don't give us the option to say we didn't steal and that and I think that's why that's why we thought that it was a glitch but like it, at least give me the option to say we didn't steal anything you know I chose not to steal for a reason so that it would have a positive impact on the storyline and now I'm wishing I had just stole from the fucker because we probably we probably could have saved Beck with that medicine and I, I don't know if that's true, but think about it. All of that medicine could have helped with, 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 with the childbirth. And her losing all that blood is a result of us not having shit to fucking take care of, of you know, the situation at hand, you know? So, I don't know, bro. I, after, after the last episode, I was really thinking about... An, I was I was honestly I was thinking about replaying episode four before playing episode five and just stealing the shit just to see if we could at least save Beck. But 
I was, I, you know, I was like, I'm gonna just let the story play out. Because if I had just started this episode and Beck is alive, I'd have to explain to y'all. And <laughs> I, I would have explained it, but you know, I'd rather just let it play out this way. But it, it just, it's, it's just annoying that I like, I. 100% wanted to take the shit, but I didn't because I wanted it to have a positive timeline. And it still ended up being negative as fuck. But yeah, I just, I, as you can tell, I, I got a lot to rant about, bruh. So I'm gonna try not to keep pausing though. My f my f my f <laughs> we got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. But I'm really on Kenny's side right now. Because I honestly don't trust this dude. With what I found out in the in the forums, bro, I don't trust him. I really don't. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good, but I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me, despite everything I've seen. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's, that's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. Aww. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me. I'm guessing time. Luger's the other 10%. I didn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. Thanks, you big forget sis. what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. That he's lost. It's changing him. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. It might be too late. I'm afraid of that too. But we still have to try. At least then we'll know for sure. Wait, hold on. Come on, slow pokes. She left five days ago, <laughs> right? How she didn't get that far if she heard the gunshots. I'm just just making an observation. <laughs> Unless she's she was going the same direction, just in a different part of the woods. No, no, I'm I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Can come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. Not gonna lie, I really expected to I'm open the game to and there be stop. very few you of us left. Stop. If you know what's good for you. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. <laughs> what is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. 
Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. Do I? They're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. <sighs> well, it's yeah, That makes sense to me. <laughs> Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Pack it in with snow. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? Right? I'm sorry. Can't you pack it in with... I know For you can what? pack it in with mud. I just feel like I've seen I'll that in a right movie. <laughs> Bunch of snow just pack it in. You know? Damn it. You look like crap. <laughs> Ow. Ah, don't make me laugh, alright? It hurts when I laugh. How did we get here? Till we walk. Try not to think about it. Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree. Bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. And for what? They didn't die in vain. I wish I could believe that. I could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. And I gotta live with it. All right. This should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. Luke's feeling bad about what happened. What? Really? But it's not your fault. Bad things happen and we can't control it all the time. She's right. You don't go blaming yourself for this. All right. Can we drop it? I'm fine. Thanks a lot. Man, hey, open Sam, up, bro. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay. Bye, a girl. That's gonna sting, but oh. only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, Holy know what it does. <laughs> it's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. <laughs> Go on. You can do it. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. You like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. Exactly. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. <laughs> All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Honestly, if you show him now, he'll grow up to think that this is normal, so. Oh, can I just rip it off? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How's it look? Disgusting. I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. I got even with him. Imagine that motherfucker didn't die. Uh, what the fuck? Don't worry. It can't be that bad. Fucking ran out of damn table space, bro. My fault.
Can I like? <laughs> so, I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna be the shitty part. <sighs> so this is gonna hurt like hell. I swear. Could have lied a little, you know. Smack. <sighs> Holy fucking hell! <sighs> you need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, does that smart. He can hear a few bad words. I've heard plenty. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't have been the case. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. <laughs> it's like, Alvin go should be here, raising this boy. It should be him, not me. We all could have done more. It's everyone's fault, not just yours. You did your best. You ain't to blame. Is that new? All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Is that it? It's definitely hey, not a house. I'm talking to you. What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit. Arvo, that's not what you're taking us to, right? How much further is the house you were talking about? Answer her, goddammit. It's still more walk. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Clint yeah. for president. Yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Mm, it's all right, buddy. 25 it's years. All right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. <laughs> Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. <laughs> I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. All right. Cool. Here, yeah. I got him. Come on over. It's safe. I know I was a weird little alien, alien baby. I was two months, two months early. Head was bigger than my body. I ain't got no pose. So don't, don't judge me.
Today's my birthday. How the fuck Here's you know I that? Can tell, at least. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. <laughs> so? Hey, you know what day it is? Now? I am 27 years old. What the fuck? That's pretty old. Damn! Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even I feel start attacked. that shit. <laughs> Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. Hey, yo, facts. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork waiting to collect. <laughs> Probably. Sally me. I'd have liked to go to college. I hope I can go someday. Maybe when this is all over. I hope so too, Clem. Start your own know. college. Just a waste of money. Well, the major in art history hasn't helped too much the last few years. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special. You can use that now. Camp. All it being your birthday and all. What the Figure. Fuck? This is as good a time as any. I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. <laughs> oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. I'm not gonna lie, I, I wouldn't have said that. Guilty taking the first, Whoa, yeah. wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the uh Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Hey, Carl got a sip of that wine. Around afterwards. I think Go it's only on. fair. <clears throat> Don't to turn the into a drunk. We've lost along the way, and to the hope that we see them again someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah, I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. You wanna like keep the baby near the fire, bro? I'm sorry, but much fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you wanna get warm. Maybe in a bit. She's I got first didn't watch. Expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got oh, nice. her danger out, of death. She up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know, I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right. It wasn't 10 minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. <laughs> Sorry. That's gross. Yes, it is, Clem. And we shouldn't be talking about it. Uh. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I doubt it. Thanks a lot, Clem. <laughs> no, I, I don't mean it like... It's okay, Luke. She's just not impressed. Apparently not. Come on, Clem. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. What the hell you mean by that? I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. You drunk so already? A drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem. It works double see if for you women. Can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this will change their minds.
they expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? <laughs> you know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Want to sit? It's okay. Uh, I'm a kid. Uh, okay then. Suit yourself. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. I'm sorry, but Earth where did they put Arvo? Something. <laughs> they just tie him up somewhere. You were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. Nice. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. Did somebody my sister eat it? found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Oh. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Holy shit. Swear. I haven't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> Wait, why is she so comfortable cursing now? <laughs> I know I'm making the choice, but still. <laughs> I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Send them back I to the deep end. Make it weird. Could I have failed that? Want to sit here? No, <laughs> that's. I'm fine. Oh yeah. Okay. Wherever you like. what you could you tried to help and I blamed you for it I'm so so sorry you you really hurt my feelings I did my best and I know I was just I think you needed to know in that darkness and you showed up with some light but I thought I needed to stay there a little longer when I should have went with you okay I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed 
that time away from him, from my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Duck. To touch Conch's face. Anything in the world. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. Look at Kim. Uh, <laughs> I was actually gonna go Jane, talk to Arvo. You don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. All right, enough of that. Hey, you Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. For a smile. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. Kenny, please, don't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to- Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have- Leave me alone! Please, Steve. So you should have went okay. up there with vodka. It's okay. She's in a better place. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Imagine Mike Maybe knows it's Russian. Best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch again. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> really. I uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? There's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! Jesus Christ! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. I'm a little nervous, bro. The way that Walker's teeth, like, landed on 
him? I thought he got a bite off. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? I should have stuck to the tree line. The fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the lookout. <laughs> what about the obstacles in the straight line that you gotta avoid? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't come together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Okay, if you was gonna I'll say that, the then I should have said the slowly part. Let the Rusky go first. <laughs> since <he's laughs> we so both said the same thing. Zuki. What's his angle, bro? What oh, else? <laughs> it just had to be me. It just had We're to be okay. me. Don't worry. Oh fuck! Why? What do y'all want? We got some walkers behind us. It's only a few of them. We should be alright. Let's just get to the house. Bruh, if they don't slip and fall. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's not what I meant. I meant like slip like a banana pill. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Oh my god. Motherfucker. Shit! It's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Well, they made it. Now, why are you so casual? Oh, shit. Give me the AK first. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. Please I just, don't I go. just gotta be careful. Oh, no, no. Stop. Hold on. Wait. Stop. Wait. 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 Please don't. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. You gotta get out of there, Luke. Yeah, Clem. I'm working on it. You need to help. No. I just gotta. Clem, go. Go help no, him. No, Clem, do Clem, not. Clem, just go back for him. Mm -mm, you're mm -mm. light. You, you Stop can do telling it. her that. Mm -mm. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers. Okay? I got you. Just give me a little time. That's what I was Clem, thinking. You can make it. But you need to go. Cover loop. Thanks. Thanks. I'll be out in a sec. Just, just keep shooting. You're not gonna make it. My, my, my leg. Why is it always two shots, bro? Come on now. Keep him off us, No, no, it's too much. Too Shut much. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Go back. I can save I you. Kiss. I got you. Bonnie, I swear, if he falls because of you, Bonnie. Funny. Luke. It's too late. Clementine, stop. There's nothing more Come you on. can do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Bullshit. Fuck. It's okay, I got you. No. I got you. Get. Come on. Ooh. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Really? Go to the house. We need a fire. We lose Luke and oh, fucking, fucking Bonnie Glyphs. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get more. They're gonna freeze to death. He's just gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. It happened too fast. Once that ice started to go, there was nothing any of us could do. You could have. You could have helped him. Bonnie, you. Hmm. Bruh. Please give me the option to snap on this fucking dumbass, bro. Do you not understand physics? Oh my god, bro. How the fuck are you gonna blame me for that shit? How are you gonna blame me after you ran to him, causing the shit to break? Oh my god. Oh, this is bad for my mental health, bruh. This is what I'm saying. This is what this is what I'm talking about, bruh. You can't make a decision in this game without feeling bad about the outcome after. And it's not even you feeling bad. It's everybody else making you feel bad about what you did, bruh. Bruh, the last person. I'll be honest, bro. I don't care for Bonnie. I would have rather Bonnie had died in that situation than Luke. I'll be honest. It would have sucked if it had happened that way. But I wouldn't have felt I would have felt better if Luke had lived. Oh my god. And and the fact that I understand Clem is lighter. I understand that. But Okay, I get over to Luke. The ice hasn't cracked yet. I still have to physically try and pull him up, which is going to cause the ice to break even faster. And now me and Luke are going in, right? So what's Bonnie going to do? She's going to try and help. Is she going to save me or, or, or Luke? What's going to happen then? I feel like... On top of that, Luke insisted that I stay and cover him because he understands that two people on thin ice. There is there's literally a, there's literally a phrase there. You're on thin ice. Two people on thin ice. After we just said don't clump together, by the way, two people on thin ice is a bad idea. And she's really going to sit here shivering her ass off and blame me like I'm not like I didn't do anything to help if I had if I had sat there and just watched this shit happen okay then you can you can you can say I didn't do shit but don't fucking sit there and tell me I could have helped him especially after I legit went over there and I whacked the shit out of that ice until it fucking broke loose I fell in trying to grab Luke And yo, and yo ass, yo ass made it out the ice. Why you didn't go for Luke, huh? <laughs> this game, bro. This 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 game, bro. What I tell y'all, this is like the game. This is like this is Game of Thrones, bro. This is Game of Thrones. You lose somebody in an instant, but on top of that. They make you feel, they make you feel like you did it like you pulled the fucking you pulled the cord oh bruh
Don't listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny, don't, man! Don't what? <sighs> I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit, too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit! Kenny! Shit. Fuck you. I'm not gonna lie, the way he you just looked at me. Fuck what the fuck, Kenny? Piece of shit! Let him go, Mike. Oh. Get the fuck Wait, off of me. That's not what I meant. Oh, I read that wrong. I read that wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mike's gonna look at me wrong that way. I read that wrong. My fault. What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. Shit. I I I'll, I'll take full responsibility for that one if anything happens after that. Yeah, I read that completely wrong. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help How is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I thought it said something along the lines of helping Mike or, or stop him. I'm tying Mike. him up. I, I was honestly Fine. like panic. <laughs> Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? It's hurt real bad. Mike. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But even then, the way he looked at me is has is got lying. me like really thinking. I thought I had matches. Like, bro, he's up to something for real, for real. You kept it. Stop fucking looking at me like Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. We have to move on now. I know. I know. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. <laughs> mm. 
I'm really nervous on how this episode is going to end, bro. Just be careful. What did she have to say? Damn, bro. I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. I think you've said that before. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on, let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch, but he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me and mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago, just before I met Cap. All right, turn it again. What the hell are you doing in there? Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. What are we feeding Go on them? inside? I don't like leaving him with that girl. Where? I wish they'd finished this place. <laughs> Bruh. I'm gonna need you to apologize to me. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing, huh? It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. Man, fuck this. I'm sorry. Piece of shit. I hope you know that your life might be in my hands one day.
busted. I can't believe she really blames me for that fucking shit, bro. That shit, that shit really pisses me off. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! <laughs> Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Oh, no, Probably had no. a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. <coughs> Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. I'll be you honest. The way Carver is, I think that he later, he was gonna have like to that. How much that's worth. Just not that extreme. I think it needs food or something. <laughs> it. Seems like you've done that before. You want to try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it puked. It puked. <laughs> Gross. I'll be honest. They made that look not like you it's blood really concerned there's not much left i was running with some people a long time ago down near dc some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk can't remember his name he used to call me mary jane he was a douchebag anyway the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers painful one after another they went down there trying to save him Lost four people before we got him out. Yeah. They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. <laughs> Hold that thought. It works. What I tell you. you better so what's the plan? Leave that shit running. How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Deuces. The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't. Oh, have now you want to wanna agree with me? Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go, and we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got to help an AJ. What about Arbo? 
Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere. I wouldn't want him with us, I'll be honest. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. Yep. God damn it! Talking about the... Talking about the RV? Oh, fuck. Oh, what am I? My fault. <laughs> At least, like, saying nothing is, is a good thing sometimes. Better than saying the wrong thing. You better talk some sense into him. Damn. For his sake. Stop picking at it. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? Yes. I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem. Think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. I ought to slap you. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it. Yeah, you, you on my shit list. I wish Lee was here. What'd you think he'd say? He'd tell you that you were a fucking crazy piece of shit. I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers. That's not what I would have said. And that we should keep moving. I think you're right. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now grown up uh, I felt pride a pride I hadn't felt in a long time but right, for what you ain't my but dad I need you now Clem there have to be folks doing better than us it's the only chance that child has yeah but we can't do it alone we need the others and that's why I gotta be able to count on you Clem we gotta convince him <laughs> you and me look we'll figure everything out in the morning Oh, so now we're waiting till tomorrow. Bruh. Come on. Let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Can I be honest, bruh? The cold ain't good unless you got fucking the right amount of fucking clothing and food and an actual plan. We ain't got none of that shit.
who's there? Are you serious? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Slow down. Let's talk about this, Mike. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. How would you give... Come on, Mike. Let's just go. All right, Clem. Now I'm gonna walk up to you nice and slow. doing this he didn't give us any choice I'm sorry Clem just give me the gun Clem I'm not gonna hurt you I'll shoot there we go bruh there we go bruh Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Look, is he duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Why did Lily do that to Doug? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. That's a dumb reason. You're right. It is. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? As bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. 
Even if sometimes, that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That I won't have to hurt anyone. Everything's gonna be all right. Let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. down shut up she's awake hey you clam oh thank god you passed out from the shock am i gonna be okay you should be how do you feel couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I should have done something. They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? <clears throat> you sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, Clam. Don't tell her what to do. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault! We... we all wanted to be together and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true. Bonnie, 
Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! <laughs> You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there! What are you doing? Hurry up! Jesus! Fuck, get out of there! It is a fucking problem. Of shit. Damn, I can't see. Jane! What's so up with that zombie in the back just waiting on our cue? <laughs> trip on
This is why we should have went south. Again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Oh my god, I don't know what is going on, but this is really. Stupid. Get out of my way. Penny? How could you kill a fucking child? What? I didn't kill him. It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny. What? what? I won't back down from you, Kenny. Jane, don't. Just don't. I'm not letting this crazy fuck anywhere near me, Clem. I don't need permission. What the fuck is going on? Don't you come near me, you son. Oh my god. Oh. 
these the only options why can't i shoot in the air maybe make them stop or some shit i have i'm gonna either kill kenny or watch him stab jane and bruh what the God, bro. Oh, I'm I'm gonna need a break from The Walking Dead after this. Specifically, the game. I'm gonna need a break from this game after this after this episode, bro. I'm, I'm, I can't, I can't, fucking, I can't, I can't do it, bro. I can't, I. Oh, I'm I'm. Can't make the choice can't make the choice i'm i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to not make a choice here bro i'm gonna have to not make a choice i want to shoot in the air but that's not an option apparently i don't want to shoot anybody Bro, I, I can't. I, oh my god. Oh fuck. All right, bro. Kenny. I'm sorry, darling. But I did. Go! I'm right behind you. Let me see him. No. Fuck off. No! No! Don't give Kenny the I fucking thought, child! I thought we lost you, buddy. I won't let you out of my sights again. Then you... You didn't have to kill her. You didn't have to kill Jane. It was me or her, Clem. She was trying to kill me, too. If she hadn't lied about Alvin here, it wouldn't have went that far. I just... Why what would she? What she was fuck nuts, Clem. What did a you see? A person that had her own agenda and was looking out for herself. What did you see that made you All think right, that the baby was dead? What did you see? Hey, listen. I didn't want that to happen either. I, I thought she killed Alvy, Clem. And at any point, she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She that's what I'm thinking fight. too. But like, why the fuck? I never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? No. Just imagining what she did to Alvy. You're 
dangerous, Kenny. You're... You're right, Glam. But I'm trying to change. I'm working on it. You don't get to come Something back, Kenny. Broke inside me. I'm leaving. Clam, please. I don't want to go, but I have to. Take AJ with you. He deserves a chance. You just I don't you, trust you, myself with him anymore. Bro, what is this? He'll what have is a better it? shot with you? What is this? Come on. Take him. What is this? Okay. Look at me, Clem. You made it this long. Think about all the other folks that didn't. What the fuck is this? Special. Don't waste this, okay? You live a good life. You hear me? You protect him. You raise him right. You tell him about his mommy and his daddy and how they were good people. You tell him about everyone that worked so hard to keep him safe. Just like they did you. This is the right decision. <coughs> You're right. Like you usually are. I ain't fit to care for y'all anymore. I'm real glad to have met you, Clementine. Now, now go. Don't you fret, little guy. Big sister's gonna take care of you.
first things first, bro. First things first, it's going to be a minute before I play the final season. There's a there's another side story after this called A New Fort Frontier, and then there's season three. I'll be honest, it's going to be a minute before I come back to this game because I, bro, my mental cannot take this. My mental cannot take this, bro. Also, before I play season three, I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. I'm going to replay this episode. I'm going to replay this episode. And really, the only thing I want to change is I want to save Jane. Because what I. And I hate I hate the way that this is. I really like. I feel like the choices they give you are more for like pushing a specific, of course, as y'all get to see the goddamn my G-Force drivers already. Thanks. I feel like I feel like the choices that are made are to push a specific storyline. But like they don't align with how things should go. And I understand it's it's at the end of the day, it is a multiple choice, but there is a storyline that it has to follow. So it has to go a specific way, I guess it has to go a specific way. Um but in the end there I really wish that I had more than those two options. My two options was shoot Kenny or look away. Now, the reason I chose not to say anything, I chose to just let whatever was happening happen. I had a small, I had a small, I had a little bit of hope that at the end of that countdown timer, maybe Clem would shoot in the air or maybe Clem would shoot towards and hit like the, the, the glass behind them and, and sort of like cause them to just stop. And maybe I could, I could have stopped that shit from happening and talked everything through. And Jane could have said, Hey, Kenny, Alvin's actually alive. And like I, I don't understand I don't understand why they wrote it to where Jane lies about what happens, right? But doesn't ever say that she lied, that she she tells me without telling me, right? But then like it's almost like she wanted to either kill Kenny or be killed to show Clem to show Clem what what Kenny is really like, right? I just don't understand. Okay, Kenny walks out. What the fuck did he see? What did he see to think that Alvin was dead? He walked out and then came back. What did he see? Because Alvin was in a car, still in his rap, right? What the fuck? What did, like and they don't show you so like I don't understand that I don't understand I I wish I had seen what Kenny saw like maybe Kenny didn't see shit maybe he went out assumed the worst came back but Jane also was like it was an accident it was an accident like okay why why are you allowing this to escalate knowing that he's gonna kill you I don't understand that. So with that being said, I'm going to replay this episode. I don't know if I'm going to show it or not. I might. What I'll probably end up doing is when I finally play the final season, I'm going to show y'all the ending of this season, the new ending of this season, because I would I would rather not have Clem do this shit by herself. I have no idea what happens in season three, the final season. I have no idea what happens. 
Um, so, and, and this is like, bro, we got an 11 year old with a newborn and I'm just walking. Where the fuck am I going? We survived nine days so far. Where am I getting food? I have no backpack on. Like what, what, how, how is this? How is this working? How is this working? Um, bruh. So to backtrack, because I had a feeling they wouldn't talk about it, but they, okay, let's, let's talk about the Arvo situation real quick. The reason I'm on this screen, by the way, is I've been getting copyright strikes on the outro songs. So I'm, I'm not going to let the outro song play because I'm tired of having to edit that shit out in, <laughs> in post. But, uh, all right, let's talk about the Arvo shit, bro. Cause, cause this is why I feel like I should have just kept going hard on Arvo, but bro, bro. Cause all right. So the lore that I found out, it's, it's not confirmed by telltale from my understanding. It's kind of just the lore that everybody has come to the conclusion, conclusion of from, from my understanding. Um, apparently, apparently Arvo was stealing the drugs from his own people and stashing them at the, uh, at the gift shop. And when we caught, when me, when Clem and Jane caught Arvo stashing the first time or the last time, I guess that was us basically catching him in the act. And so whether you choose to steal or not choose to steal, Arvo still says that we stole regardless because he's trying to cover for himself. Right. Um, cause I guess, I guess his camp found out that people were stealing. They didn't know who and Arvo chose to blame us. Right. So, and if y'all go look at the forums, it's literally filled with fuck Arvo, you know? So that, that's that been in my head this whole, this whole episode. Bro. So, but what really, what confused me is the fact that not, n- there's not a single moment. First off, first off, Clem is the one who says, let's not take this shit. Let's give it back to Arvo. Jane's the one who threatens him, takes his gun, right? But the narrative still plays out like Arvo is pissed off at Clem specifically. And I know I shoot his sister, but Arvo still snitches, still lies about us stealing, right? And there's not a single moment where I can say, no, we didn't do it. We didn't steal shit. We gave it back. You know, like I didn't get that option. And I don't understand that. I just feel like the story would have gone a little differently if I could have cleared my name because from what it looks like, Arvo blames me the whole point in time after I shot his sister. And he just has this whole vendetta against me. But what the fuck is up with the fact that Mike just gives him a gun? Mike gives him a gun. Bonnie's bitch ass blames me for for the Luke situation. Like, this that shit pisses me off. Like, it, it's hard to it's hard to like. It's hard to like certain characters in this. It's hard to like cer- certain characters in 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 this in this series. Like, I'll be honest. The only pe- the only person I like now right now is Clem and she's the only one left at the end of the day. Uh Clem and Lee, the only good people so far. And Glenn, but he, you know, he he had to go find Maggie. So he's no longer with us in this in this series. Um I I also have an issue with the way they wrote Kenny's lines at the end too. When I say when when I say that I'm leaving with with AJ, Kenny just like 
you would you would expect him to push back, and yet he just immediately agrees. He's like, "You're right. You're right. I'm not fit for this. You're 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 the smart one. You do that. I can no longer I can no longer do this. Like, at this point, like, okay, you. <laughs> at this point, it's like, okay, why? I don't know. It was just, it was just weird. It was just weird. I just expected, I expected pushback heavy. I expected, you know, some, some begging that it'll change or even like some aggression to where maybe I have to like show my fucking, like, I'm just, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I do know one thing though. I really want to replay season. I really want to replay episode four, and I'm definitely gonna replay episode five. I'm not gonna replay episode four, just because I feel like I don't know if it's gonna change the way I would. I would hope. I would hope that you know I just steal the meds, and Rebecca lives. But I don't know. I I might just watch, I might just watch somebody else play season four, episode four. But I'm definitely replaying episode five because there's no point in me doing this by myself when. And and to be honest, to to be honest, let me know what y'all think, bro. Should I trust Jane? Should I change the narrative so that Jane at least lives and comes with me? Because that was some fucked up shit that she did. Why would you, why would you, why would you do that? Why would you do that? In this situation right now, it's not the time to be playing pranks. And on top of that, you didn't even once decide to say, uh, it's a prank. Like, bruh, you're just going to let this shit happen. Like, I understand why you're doing it. You're trying to get Clem to see the real side of Kenny. But let's be honest, we didn't already seen the real side of Kenny. We were we were literally saying Clem was literally saying not again, not this again. Please no, don't let this happen again. Clem knew. Clem knew what the fuck was about to happen. Oh, is it, this that that ending was not was not necessary. It wasn't necessary. It wasn't going out like that. It was not necessary at all, bro. And and I'm I'm curious if there's a way to change that. I don't think there is. I don't think there was a way to change that at all. Kenny was it was, it was gonna happen regardless. Kenny was gonna go off the deep end regardless. I don't think there's a way to like get Jane to, you know, see the other side of Kenny, and not do what she did at the end. If there is a way, let me know. I guess. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna change the narrative. Cause I don't like this ending. I really don't. And, and y'all might, y'all might say, Hey, just fuck it. Just play, just play this way and, and leave it, bro. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll give it some, I'll think about it. I'll think about it, bro. Maybe I'll look, maybe I'll watch. <sighs> maybe I'll watch somebody else do the ending a little differently and, and engage my, my thoughts. But, uh, yeah, sorry for I just it was necessary for me to rant this long. I'm sorry, cause cause this, I <laughs> this shit, man, uh, bro, this game, I I swear it. And don't get me wrong, I actually really enjoy this game. I love stuff like this, story heavy, and the fact that you make the decisions to drive the story. I I find that concept to be one of my favorites. But man, man, this shit is heavy, bro. Didn't they make a Game of Thrones? Wasn't there a Game of Thrones Telltale? Or did that flop? Did that did not happen? Did that not happen? Did I dream that? I don't know, bro. But yeah. Oh, fuck, man. If y'all made it this far, thank y'all. If y'all been keeping up in the series, I really do appreciate it. I'm going back to my roots for the next few videos. We're going to do some more car content. We're going to do some more, more BMG, some set of course. Uh, I got some stuff planned for that. Uh, and I'm going to go find some other stuff to play before I 
play season three and the new frontier. I keep forgetting about that one. And Michonne. You still got the Michonne story too. Uh but yeah, don't don't expect The Walking Dead for a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you if you if you came to this channel for The Walking Dead, stick around because I play a lot of shit, bruh. I play a lot of shit. So just stick around if you want to. You don't have to. I don't, you know. I'm not gonna force you. But thank you for watching anyways. I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. Oh, like comment and subscribe because i've i've been forgetting to say it <laughs> but yeah that's it man i'm, I'm gonna see you on the next video